So the only way we're able to start over, the only way that we are able to figure out what we need to change and how we need to change it is by tearing it down. All the successes and all the failures, everything that has compiled our entire existence up to this point, the only way you're ever going to really know why you failed or why you succeeded is by tearing it down. And I know that sounds, <laughs> that sounds scary and destructive and messy and ugly and it's not going to be pretty, but it's what you have to do. Pulling everything apart, brick by brick, stone by stone, to get to your core, to get to who you really are on the inside, the deep down parts that you might not even want to acknowledge are there. It's messy and it's ugly, and I get it. No one wants to deal with it. But I'm not going to focus too much on that part right now. Right now, we're going to talk about what got you there. The beginnings. Things that have progressed you to the place you are now. You see, I think that a lot of our problem and a lot of our struggles in this life come from the fact that we've let things end our lives that shouldn't be there to begin with. And while it might have been innocent to start, it was a bad move. See, just like a foundation to a house or a building or to any structure, really, you have to have a strong foundation. That strong foundation's key. It's what decides everything in your life. So just like a building typically starts off, you have to build that strong foundation. The core beliefs and structures that you are going to live by, and they can't waver. These things have to be permanent. Things that you will not break away from, no matter what gets put in front of you. The problem is, though, most of the really bad things in our lives are things we've let seep in. Kind of like a leaky basement, if you think about it. Whether it be your diet, I mean, maybe, maybe it started off as a candy bar. And maybe that candy bar turned into a habit that turned into an everyday habit that turned into a every week habit that turned into a lifestyle. I know that sounds silly, so let me give a better example. Maybe it was a bad person. If you really thought about your life like a house or a building, like we're trying to right now, if you, if you really try to envision that, then think about the people you're letting in your door. I mean, are you letting in people that, that make a difference in your life in a positive way, or are you letting people in that hurt you, that make you weaker? Remember that video I did about circles? <laughs> Every part of that was true. The people that you have in your life, the people you allow in your life affect you. The, the influences, alcohol, uh, drugs, um, food even. I mean, really anything can be an influence on your life if you allow it. So going back, 
reversing time and thinking about how exactly you came to be who you are today. Did you have the right influences? Did you let the right people in? Did you uh, show the same level of concern when you saw things going wrong then as you do now? I can tell you from my own experience, nobody has gotten where they are without having a very, very detailed history that's brought them to it. People with eating addictions didn't get those eating addictions because they just fell into it. It was because it was something that they let in. People who, uh, got into trouble and maybe didn't live the right kind of life, those were also things that we let in. And it wasn't fast, it wasn't quick, it wasn't something that just happened overnight, it was something that we let have a stronghold in our lives over. If you really want to know where you failed, if you really, really want to know where you need to go, if you really want to learn where you need to progress, then you got to go back to the beginning. You got to walk through all that ugly. You got to figure out how your foundation was built. And it's going to be messy. It's going to suck. But you got to pull yourself apart and you got to figure it out. But I'm telling you, once you figure it out, man.